All right, guys, so today in front of me from the Covered Bridges Whiskey Company, we have Ruddles Mill Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. We also have their Kentucky Straight Rye Whiskey, and then we have the Pigeon River Tennessee Sour Mash Whiskey. So a little bit about the Covered Bridges Whiskey Company and um, the history of Ruddles Mill. So in 1778, nestled along Stoner Creek and the South Fork Licking River, Isaac Ruddle founded a grist mill creating Bourbon Country's first industrial district. The mill processed grain and part used for the production of local whiskey, and a ge generation later was the home of the now extinct Ford and Bowen Distillery. Uh, built in 1861, the Ruddles Mill Cover Bridge provided a location with access over Stoner Creek uh, for easier transport of grain and whiskey. So uh, these are actually made with a, um, some of these are actually made with a high corn content, one of them made with a high rye content. We will get into the details as uh, as soon as you review these guys. So without further ado, let's go. Alright guys, so we're going to go ahead and get started with their Kentucky Sherry Bourbon Whiskey. Uh, this one comes in at 92.2 proof, non-age stated. Uh, the mash bill, again, is undisclosed, but is thought to have a high corn content with just a touch of rye and malted barley. Let's go ahead and get into the nose. Yeah, so first thing I get uh, a little further into the glass, uh, a lot of that corn sweetness. There's also a, a, a nice little touch of, of cinnamon. Then I get this uh, kind of honey, kind of graham cracker um, on the nose. A little bit further away, you start to pick up again some of that traditional, those traditional bourbon notes. A um, little bit of uh, some vanilla, some caramel. Again, further into the glass, it's like a uh, a honey coated kind of graham cracker. Um, I get, I do get a little bit of like some lemon um, on the on the nose as well. Let's get in the palate, guys. Cheers. Yeah, so the palate on that one, um, it does match kind of what I got on the um, on the nose. A little bit of a, a like a cinnamon bite there on the the mid palate. Some kind of vanilla sweetness there but then as it as it kind of transitions to the back of the palate and into the finish um it's almost like that that honey kind of graham cracker um this one comes off like very refreshing though um doesn't stick around the palate that much um not a lot of viscosity to it but i do like that transition from that like um there's a little bit of like that, that corn sweetness too that kind of sits there in the middle of the palate I'm getting not a lot of, of spiciness. There's a little bit of some baking spices there, that cinnamon, and it kind of flows right into um, that like that kind of honey coated graham cracker. Let's get the last sip, guys. Yeah, so on that second sip, it actually opened up um, a, a little bit more. So on the front of the palate, again, you're getting some of those traditional, um, you know, bourbon notes, that vanilla, that caramel. And then as it, as it makes its way to the mid palate, it's like a spicy corn. Um, and then a little bit of some some cinnamon in there. And then as it, make, it makes its way to the back of the palate, it's like that honey kind of um, coated graham cracker. But I, I do pick up some summer fruits and a little bit of black pepper that kind of makes its way through. Um, into the finish again a very refreshing kind of pour um, on the mouth not a lot of viscosity um medium finish on, on this one i would say but uh, a pretty good kentucky straight bourbon whiskey here um from ruddles mill all right guys so we're gonna go ahead and get into their kentucky straight rye whiskey this one is non-age stated comes in at 94.4 proof uh mash bill is undisclosed but um it, it is a high rye content with just a touch of malted barley let's go ahead and get in the nose yeah, so on the nose on this one, um, it does have like a a um, kind of earthy, kind of floral nose on this one. Um, I do pick up a little bit of some lemongrass. I do pick up that rye grain, um, as well as like the spiciness from a rye as well. A little bit of caramel that's that's in there as well. Yeah, again, vanilla, kind of like lemongrass, a um, little, little bit of caramel in there. I do get a little bit of like a black pepper on the nose as well. Let's go ahead and get into the palate, guys. Cheers. So this is a very um, sweet and kind of fruit forward rye. So on the front of the palate, I do get a little bit of like some lemon zest. Middle of the palate, that rye kind of shows up, um, the spiciness and the grain. But again, it's one of those, it's another very kind of refreshing pour. Um, again, there's not a lot of viscosity, flavors kind of go away um, fairly quick. This is something you could you could drink um, fairly easy though. This would be a great um, introduction rye whiskey. Um, for someone again it's not it's not overly potent with the rye spice it's not overly potent with proof um, it's something again that drinks very very easy on the back of the palate some of that like lemongrass that i was kind of getting on the the nose i start that starts to appear there towards the back of the palate 
and then it's not a super peppery finish but it would be more like towards a white pepper um rather rather than a uh, like a black pepper it's getting less of guys yeah again on this one it's it's very kind of earthy very you know very floral sweet um again very kind of sweet up front and then um it just kind of goes into this like um rye spice rye grain that um that lemongrass kind of deal and then a little bit of like some lemon citrus there on the front of the palate and then again going back it's that that lemongrass a little bit of like some white pepper um and, and a lingering finish uh, i i'd say it's along the shorter side of a finish but again a very um easy sipping whiskey something that would make a great um you know a great introduction to a rye whiskey um this would be uh perfect for them um pretty good stuff here though again from riddles mill all right guys so the last pour is the pigeon river tennessee sour mash whiskey this one is 96 proof non-age stated um it has a high corn content with a, a touch of malted barley um that is a mash bill that is very common from eastern tennessee uh back in the 1800s and they did use the um the maple charcoal filtration for this one let's get in the nose yeah, so so this one on the nose comes off again very very different. Um, for for this one, it comes off. It gives me like this kind of sweet and sour kind of vibe. Um, I do get a little bit of like some lime on the nose as well as some of that again some of those traditional kind of like um, uh, vanillas and caramels. There's a little bit of nutmeg in there. Further away from the glass, I started to pull out again some like some delicate kind of subtle fruit notes, uh, more like of a like a pitted fruit, maybe a little bit of a peach. Again, like a, a splash of like some lime, um, vanilla, some caramel in there. Skin the pal, guys. Cheers. Yeah, tons of uh, tons of, of fruitiness there on on the palate. Um, sometimes can be very typical of that uh, that Tennessee profile. Lots of like pitted fruit um some some orange a little bit of like maybe some peach in there again not a ton of viscosity on this one great proof point though 96 proof i would say it definitely drinks its heat um a medium finish medium finish on this one so again like front of the palate was like a little like a, a dash of the uh, vanilla then like middle of the palate is really kind of where um some of that corn sweetness but then also a lot of those kind of fruits start to appear again some of that peach maybe some of that like lemon orange Let's get the last sip, guys. All right, so that second sip definitely opened up a little more, uh, more of that like fruity, dominant profile. And on the, on the front of the palate again, very just like a, a little hit of like vanilla. Middle of the palate is kind of where it gets into this like caramelized um, orange, peach, lemon, and then like the back of the palate. Now I do get like a little like shot of some like dark honey. And then, you know, as it kind of flows down, it does start to kind of drag those those um, those, those fruits um, down along with it. Again, not like any kind of like peppery finish, um, you know, being mainly corn and um, just a, a dash of malted barley. You're not going to get any of that that rye spice in there. So, again, nice, nice kind of uh, corn sweetness, fruitiness, your, your typical kind of. Um, your typical kind of like bourbon notes, your, your vanillas and your caramels. Uh, maybe a little dash of cinnamon back there as well. But again, um, pretty good stuff here, guys, from Riddles Mill. So I want to thank you guys for tuning in to this episode of Dusty Dan's Whiskey Reviews. I want to send a big thank you over to the Covered Bridges Whiskey Company uh, for supplying me with these uh, samples here to review on the channel. Um, again, guys, you know, really nice um, flavors. I think these, all three of these would make a great um, kind of introduction for someone who is... Uh, looking to get into whiskey again a lot of great you know flavors amongst all three of these um again they're all at a at a great proof point they all have a lot of very nice flavors um and, and aromas to them again just a great introduction whiskey for a lot of people but if you guys are looking for more reviews like this make sure you hit that subscribe button bell notification to be alerted of any upcoming reviews or live streams you can also find me on instagram at dusty dan's whiskey reviews until next time guys stay dusty